So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna put together a Nexo transhumeral forearm. I'm gonna show you how to put it on, how to adjust it, so then we'll know, uh, have a general idea of how to put this thing together. It's quite simple. Um, when you order it, you're gonna get a kit, and that's gonna be for either an E400 style elbow, which is gonna be the adult, or the smaller one, which would be the E4 or E200 style, so E400, E200 style elbows. When you order it, instead of getting this, you're gonna get something more like that because you're gonna order a Nexo elbow, which is gonna come with a black cap and the saddle already removed. So with the saddle removed, you're gonna get this. So this is an E400. The only difference between the two kits is there's a connector that goes on the bottom and this is a small one and this is for the E200 smaller adult elbow and this is for the E400, the larger adult elbow. So we're gonna to put together an E400, so we don't need this one. With your Nexo kit, you're gonna get these little uprights, so you're gonna get two of these. There's gonna be a left and a right. There's going to be a small lift tab that'll be made of Santaprene for you to put on whichever side you need for this particular patient. I've gone ahead and installed this for a, uh, a left-sided amputee, so that's on the left upright. You're going to have five rods. They're going to come very long. They're going to come at 12 inches, which is going to be way longer than you possibly need for this particular patient or any particular patient. You're going to end up with a damper ring, and this is to stiffen those rods right in the middle so your patient will have some control. And then you're going to have a wrist unit. In this case, this is a friction wrist unit, so a very small, lightweight wrist unit. You can also get a wrist unit like this, which is the quick disconnect wrist unit. That's another one of those options. Uh, either one of those will come with the kit. You'll need some tools. I like to have a torque wrench. Um, this really is going to help me to tighten these uh, small set screws properly. This is a 330 seconds torque wrench, and you want to follow your torque spedding, your torque specifications within the instructions. Do when you set this up, make sure that after you've set those initial torque settings and your patient comes in for that second visit, go ahead and recheck those torques. This material actually does a really nice job of flowing out and filling in the spaces within here so it locks in very nicely after that second fitting. While I'm doing this, because I put, put one of these on almost every elbow, I'm also going to install a lift assist on this elbow. So I'm going to show you also how to install this lift assist as a part of this assembly. So first thing first, I've got my elbow. There is no saddle on this and I've taken off these side bolts from the sides of the elbow shaft itself. And on that, we're going to go ahead and assemble the uprights themselves. So first things first is we're going to put the uprights on. So we're going to install them on either side. Oop. <laughs> Oop. Let's put on the lateral first. I just thought because on the medial side we're going to be putting that lift assist. So we're going to go ahead and install the lateral upright. We'll go ahead and lock that one in. Okay. Great thing to check at this point is to make sure that the elbow is actually going to lock in the correct range of motion. So I do like to unlock it and just check all the way down is fully extended, all the way up is fully flexed. So I'm actually unlocking and locking in the correct plane. Go ahead and relock that up. Now for a standard Nexo setup, I would go ahead, put this on, and lock it in with this small plate. In the case of the lift assist, I have some other little parts. We're going to go ahead and grab those. There's the lift assist itself. A longer bolt that we'll need. So we're going to replace this small bolt that went in that side plate. We're going to go ahead and replace that with the longer bolt. There's a small Teflon washer. We're going to go ahead and place that right in between there. Now we've got some more bolts, a small spring, and the other little piece. And we'll go ahead and start assembling this. We'll begin by removing this side plate from the elbow itself. We'll 
put in our new side piece right here. Again, this is on the medial side. When you order these, they are sided based on placing this on the medial side of the elbow. Now we have that in place. Install our upright. Now we take the small spring, we're going to place it in here. Then, we're going to put our lock in. We're going to place this desk so that this faces down and that's that small hole right there there's a pin that goes in that small extra hole you'll see the same thing on the metal saddles like this on the stainless steel ones so you've got the same fitting whether it's a nexo or a standard elbow it's very simple um, the only difference you may encounter is if you're fitting a heavy duty elbow you'll add a second washer that will actually come in the kit that second washer will go right there those up and get everything in place and we have our small friction washer right there and we're going to place that in with that now we'll tighten this back in a lot of turns on this one <laughs> could have put about 800 less fewer threads on that thing right there there we go Now, we got those locked in, they're a little tight, so I'm going to back that off just a hair. All right. Once that is weighted, that should move pretty cleanly, so we'll go ahead and begin squaring up the rest of the device. So now it's an E400 elbow, so I'm going to choose the proper size connector here. These connectors are installed by placing these small socket head screws in the bottom here. So I'm going to go ahead and place one in. We'll slide our connector in place. And we'll place our other set screw in. And we need to use the correct wrench to do that, which is a ah, 764. 764 wrench. I'll go ahead and tighten these in place if I can keep them on there. There we go. Now well, my saddle is installed, moving freely, so we're good there. to go ahead and install our rods. These are going to be down to the smaller. These are going to be 332nd set screws here. down here on the bottom. I do want to make sure we go ahead and flush those up on our bottom edge. Okay, so now all my rods are in place. You can see that's moving very freely now with the added weight of the rods. Now these rods are very lightweight. The next thing that we need to put in line is our little damping ring. We're going to go ahead and place in so that all the rods go through 
individual holes. And then we're going to do the same thing with our wrist unit. So I like to move that down pretty far. That's going to make it a little easier to put our wrist unit in place. So we're going to go ahead and take our wrist unit, the large part towards the outside. and the flat towards the top, or the anterior of the arm. Okay. Oop. Don't want to get it too far before I get them all in. <laughs> if I can get them all stable. All right, so we're gonna get them all stable and we'll get them all placed at the entrance. There we go, now we slide right on. So the good thing is at this point, getting this adjusted to my patient's arm is gonna be quite simple. I can get it to the length, proper length, proper alignment very easily. With Nexo, all you have to do to get the wrist in any particular alignment is pull the wrist unit up, down, wherever we want to. Let's say that I wanna put a little bit of flexion in the socket. I can even do a little bit of flexion in my forearm. I can do that very simply by tightening Two of the set screws down, taking a look, seeing if I like the alignment. Let's see. You can see that I have a little bit of flexion in that forearm. Ah, if I like that, great. If not, I can change that back very simply by loosening up set screws and letting it slide back into whatever alignment it naturally wants to go to. So we'll set that one there. That looks like a good alignment for this particular socket main thing that you want to have done at this point is that saddle needed to have been nice and tight so that the tension in the rods doesn't cause extra friction within the system. That's usually the problem that people will run into is they won't tighten this down enough first. So make sure you get that and then preset this wherever you want it. Once you get it where you like it, tighten all these down very lightly. There we go. Make sure you like everything you see. Cut them off, buff the ends, and you're ready to go with whatever position you've chosen for the uh, Nexo forearm system that you've got. We've got a lift assist on here too. For patients that like a, a whole lot of extra lift, you can turn this. And basically what you are looking for is a little bounce at the bottom. It will not bring this up all the way like a full automatic forearm balance, but you'll see it wants to come back up as I turn this. So you'll see it wants to come back up with a little bit of motion. I can probably get one more turn and you can see that little bit of bounce. And that's what you're looking for with your patients. That's about the right amount of tension. Do make sure to teach them how to tension this up. To release that tension, very simply grab the button and pull and you'll see it drop right back down. So that is how to assemble a Nexo forearm, how to install a lift assist. Now you're ready to go for a nice lightweight functional system.